Good morning. With just a few days left until Whatnot's gift gala, I am here at Yesteryear, Yesteryear, one of my favorite spots, uh, to try and pick out some more items for that event. Unfortunately, of course, this is already passed. I know I'm usually pretty good about that, but I am going to be picking up some stuff maybe for my weekly variety sale. I've been pretty uh, picky, particular about how much I pick up and what I pick up because of course in a couple weeks I'm getting ready to hit the road again. So let's go in and see what we can find. I have a feeling that one of the vendors I buy from frequently has restocked. Oh yeah, here we go. Well, first and foremost, look at her. She needs to come home with us. She's made in Japan, which is my favorite type of pose doll. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They definitely were here. Um, ah, and she's so freaking fabulous. She's $15 and 30% off. I'm so distracted by everything that's happening here. Oh, this is, this is exactly what I needed today. Thank you. All right, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. This guy, the little wind chime, Merry Christmas, $11.30. That's a really good price. It's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> oh my gosh, it really wants to go with me. It's gonna drive me nuts. Here, let's, let's save that. Please stop. I regret touching that. What is this? This is like the cutest graphic ever. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I gotta take this out of the sleeve. So it is used on the inside, but I'm kind of tempted to pick it up just because of the graphic on the cover alone. Now, we have a bag of candy canes. Four dollars, come on now. It's so good. I'm gonna have to do another shop with me. I feel like that's the answer. Now, what about this guy? 15 and 30 percent oh my gosh that's so cute this is amazing oh i'm so overwhelmed look at this tin that's fun fruit cake oh my gosh that's so good with the uh yeah i have to get that um the stars on it too. Reminds me of Pee Wee's Christmas. What else do we have here? Little snowman. Safety pin Christmas tree. That is awesome. What is this? 14, that's very cool. And then this has my attention too. Wow. Well, first and foremost, Little happy pineapple people. Are they eggplants? No, not eggplants. Squash. Yeah. Squash. Happy squash. Gorgeous. Yeah. Perfect. We'll take those. Now, this vintage den. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to. Okay, this this okay. would be 20, 21 after the discount. I kind of want to put this in the Christmas gift guide. <laughs> Whatever, I just went for it. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and grab these two deer. These are in great condition. This one's flocked again at 30% off. I feel like it's safe still. The, the red one's a little bit close, but I think I can get away with it because the condition's so good. Now this one comes to $9 after the discount too. It's so funny looking. It's a little mistletoe kind of tempted to pick that up and then i can't help but notice this this comes like seven bucks after the discount Ooh, got it i think i'll pick that up for my weekly variety sale i feel like that will do well at seven seven bucks this is kind of funny too i don't usually buy these things people love them but i like that he's fishing with the person that would that would be a good gift so this is like a little bit more than I usually like to spend on stuff, but it's pretty freaking epic. It would come to like $21 after the discount. I kind of 
kind of feel like I need that. I'm going to make sure the stopper is good. So I grabbed the pink for the weekly variety sale. I'm also going to go ahead and grab this little nude figurine made in Japan. $7.30. Can't really go wrong with that. Also, check out this Museum of Fine Arts Boston silk scarf. It's still got the tag on it. It's got cats le chat for seven bucks. That's a no-brainer. This is a fun set too. These guys would be seven bucks. They're just kind of different. I like that it's got the cat. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be cat and dog or if they're supposed to be two dogs and two cats, but for seven bucks, I'm going to go with it. They're really weird looking. Now, this one would come to $8 after the discount. $8.40 to be exact. I've never seen this. I usually pick up the mirror. Um, I kind of feel like I should grab this. I think I accidentally just found, like, the coolest thing ever. I don't know if I'm ever going to sell this, to be honest. That's my this is, this That's is for me. Yeah, this is mine forever, I think. This lenticular cat made in Hong Kong. <laughs> And also, I almost completely spaced out and missed 1960s Lucite uh, Swordfish, $15.30. That is what I like to call a no-brainer. I've never seen that one. I had the dolphin and the fish, but that's a pretty great one. All right, and then I see this little sock monkey ornament with googly eyes. He is fantastic. That's perfect for the gift guide gala. And then, why is this one $20.00? He's got a little bit of wear. It's such a good price. These have been going crazy. I might hold off. Look at these tree tassels. These are fun. Ah! The elf is on the loose. Yeah, these are <laughs> really fun. Um, they're made in Japan. Five bucks and 30%. I'll grab those. All right, now there's a bunch in here. First of all, this little blow mold reindeer. Oh, that's so fantastic. I already kind of went a bit overboard on a couple of pairs. Wow, this is, this is interesting. Um, I'm definitely going to grab the little happy radishes. Let's, let's clear some space. And there are some more of those flocked ones. I already got one. I feel like one is good to start with. Uh, the cats. I've had these ones before. That's Not that long ago. It's these cows that are really strange. Or they're pigs. They're pigs. They're like drunk milk jug pig things. How much are these? 15, 30%. That's, that's a no-brainer. And did I clear enough space to get to these cats? I think I did. Yes, thank you. Oh my gosh. $21. The noisemakers obviously don't work. Wow. Yeah, you know what? For 14 bucks, uh, the noisemakers never work in these things. I'm going to leave the tape on them and, and sell them as is. I normally wouldn't buy something that I thought the noisemaker might fall out of, but they are pretty epic and on the harder to find side so i'm gonna grab them though i kind of feel like for 13 dollars, it's weird not to get these they're definitely on the harder to find side <sighs> i'm in a weird mood i'm gonna leave them dude check out this lamp that's amazing okay but i'm looking for the holiday gift guide stuff oh there's so much weird stuff in here check out this george briard Lemon tree lighter, that's fantastic. What's going on with this? Hmm, cigarette cases. Oh, it's so hard not to grab everything. Look at this. Got a napkin, lady. Oh, there's a giant tag covering it. That's such a good price. What is this lighter? Oh, that's an awesome one, that red. I've had that one before. Hmm. Carved wooden frog pencil holder. Gift guide, 100%. Seven bucks. That's really great. All right, now what's happening? <laughs> I love this little guy. We're going to grab him. 
and little bluebird. Look at these guys. It's like the Drifting Twins. <laughs> it's like the Drifting twin sister. <laughs> now this is exactly the kind of stuff I'm looking for for the gift guide. This would be a um, 1980s Japan Taylor Erotica Bear mug with the original box. Was it right on the edge? I'm pretty sure it's like early 80s. That is fantastic. Might even be late 70s. I feel like the 80s ones have the um, date on it. That's fantastic. So speaking of lighters, look at this one. It's got liquid in it. What's going on with this duck on the nest? Why is it only $10? Is there something I'm missing? Huh, it's really cheap. So I know this ornament is newer, but it's got a certain je ne sais quoi about it. It's really fantastic and it's glass. It's hanging from the candy cane. Oh, and I love this snowman one. I see 50% off everything. Hold on. Does that include this? JCM 750. Uh, milk glass has actually been pretty popular for me for like less than four bucks. I kind of can't say no to that. I'll take that. Let's see what else they have. What is this little thing? I still really love this snail paperweight. It's just, uh, I think it's a little too much for me to front for resale. This is so pretty too. I think I looked at this. I feel like I bought it. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Now this is another booth I've been finding all kinds of crazy stuff in. The prices are really beyond reasonable, I would say. What's this bowl? That doesn't look like they've been in since I was here last. What is that snail? Oh, it's a whale. I don't like that really, really, really thin, like paper thin glass. I get nervous and I'm gonna break it. In fact, the last time I bought something that was paper thin glass, uh, it broke in the wrapping on the way home. I didn't even touch it, so. <laughs> Dude, that is the biggest moon and stars <coughs> compote I've ever seen. <laughs> Holy cow, what is happening here? Nine dollars. Dude, this is very strange. Can't tell what, <laughs> I can't tell what the situation is here. I think I have to get that. It's too weird not to. Look at this mouse paperweight. This kind of looks like it might be Viking. Maybe I'm making that up. I'm curious. Either way, it's six, well, it's twenty percent off. Actually, I didn't notice that. I might look that up. I just shot a picture to uh, my friend Mike. Now, you know what? I really think this is. I'm more just like curious to see <laughs> if I'm right than anything at this point. It comes to twelve dollars. It's pretty epic. I'm gonna hold on to it. Uh, see if he texts me back. I'm a little on the fence about this. I think I am right. I still haven't heard back. It's been like thirty seconds, by the way. <laughs> But I'm just not sure how well it would do. I was starting to pick up the pace and walk a little bit faster and I did a double take and went back. What is this? Foldscraft Zebra Creamer. That is amazing. 20%. It's like $26. I don't know if I could get away with that, but I really am into it. This is cool too. Yo, what? Dude, this is so cool. I really think this is different. And it's a cat, LS. Hmm, it almost looks like a bearded cat. Speaking of different, what is happening here? Department 56. Ah! Oh! This is a very strange one. Raccoons and penguins. $15. Is there a discount? No. That's so weird. 
Now what's, here's another strange one. You know what, that one's still the best. It's the Santa. He's got like raccoons and penguins. It's really weird. Oh my gosh. Dude, what? I I don't think I can swing that for $25, especially because it looks like a shipping nightmare, but it's amazing. And again, even though it's newer than I'd like it, I can't help but notice the Hula Girl ornament and only $6. I don't think I'd lose money on that, so I'm going to grab that. What is going on with that? Glad I thought it was Santa giving the finger. <laughs> Look at these elephant bottles. What in the world? Castle Elephant Bank. That's spectacular. Oh, I was feeling weird about it. I put the, the hula girl back. I'm just nervous about my shipping situation at this point because I have so many crazy weights. And uh, I don't think I want to save it for the ornament sale in December. I don't think I'm supposed to sell matches. But like... I don't know, man. I wonder if I could. Because they're so good. Yeah, unfortunately, they are, I think, considered hazardous material. So I'm going to leave that behind. I don't want to risk getting in trouble over having a little bit of a giggle. I don't see any other things here that stand out. All right, so once again, uh, coconuts really don't sell well for me. But look at this one. Oh, it's like, how can you leave that? This amber glass bottle kind of caught my attention too. It's heart shaped. Two bucks. It's so cheap. See, like this is exactly what I, what I want to get for the gift guide, but I can't swing that for resale. It's so fantastic, though. I'm also really into these little cat and dog things. I can't help but notice this bottle. This thing is epic. 20%. I love the starburst pattern on that. Now, also... Oh, it's a globe. I thought it was a vase. I was about to freak out. Dang. Alright, I got a little distracted, but I'm back on track. Now, this... There's a few things going on here. That is gorgeous. It's all really pretty, but... It looks like a lot of things are different in this case. Um, the votives are purple, which are really neat. I'm kind of into the purple turtle. <laughs> purple turtle, and it's fun to say. I don't think I could get away with paying $45 even with the... Well, it's 25% off. Yeah, still, I don't know, man. I think that's a little close. This purple uh, rose bowl, though, is what really caught my attention. 55 and 25 yeah, I don't think I can swing that. But it is something else. Ah! I found more cats. 39 as found. Dang, even with 20% off, I can't swing that. I was super surprised. I picked those up not long ago and they did not sell well. I was very surprised. Um, distracted by that Fenton cat. That one, this giant handkerchief vase I was about to pick up is too spendy for resale. Cats, cats, cats. Oh my gosh, how cute. Really good price. And then this looks like, yep, Fenton. Hand painted angel. $20 and 20% 20 off. $24 and 20% off, excuse me. Fantastic looking pig. Well, I'm about to wrap up, but I couldn't help but notice this little art glass figurine. Um, $15.20% off. I think I'm going to put that in Petite Palooza because it looks like one of those mini Murano swirly things. And then the other piece that caught my eye was this glass. That is so cool. I love the color. $9.20% off. I think I'll take that. It's got a nice effect to it. Okay, so I spent $251 in there. I'm pooped, but I'm going to get in the car and I'm going to keep going. I will see you guys when I get to my next stop.